Hey guys, welcome to today's episode. So, we are now playing the um, French Community Shield. It's called something else. I'll show you in a minute. And, um, yeah, so we've signed some new players to help us out this season. So I've signed better squad players. I've signed uh, uh, Gray. Um, he's only 17, but he has a lot of potential. So shooting 68, finishing 59, crossing 61, but in his fast. So he's just going to be a player for our, for our, our Archie to come on and help change a match. And he's got so much potential. Uh, we've signed Mercado, similar. He's uh, 19. And he's got a bit better finishing and he's quicker. Well, about the same, but yeah, he came on and did really well in a pre-season friendly. Um, so them two are promising inside forwards. Um, Ali, I got on a free... So all these are free agents I got. So Ali, I got... Um, he's just better. He's 19. He's just much better than Hodge. So Hodge will be our third striker if Ali or Nisbet get injured, so... Yeah, he's got potential to be great. He's already got better finishing than Nisbet. But Nisbet's got a bit of a better shot and better ball control. So I'm going to keep playing Nisbet for now. But eventually, I think Ali will be our number one choice striker. Um, I paid, uh, got Torre in. A young Ivory Coast defender. Quick. Crossing's okay. Good tackler. Um, so yeah. Uh, I think he's going to be a decent player for us. Um, I got in Bi Biai. He's a uh, keeper, 25-year-old. He looks all right. Uh, we need to improve him a lot. Might need to work on his diving and reflexes and positioning is what I need to do, but he's got potential. I think once I train up a younger keeper who gets as good stats as he does then I'll just replace him but here do I bought him for 20 million um, Runot so he's got some potential can still grow uh, and him and Marcelin will be good once we sell some more players then his contract runs out at the end of the summer I'm going to renew his contract we have sold Lombardi uh, on a free so, he, at the moment, he's the only one who we paid for. Tw we paid 20 million for him. Altogether, I had about like 35, 38 million to spend with 300 grand wages. So, I had enough to get the right players in. But I only bought one free. I only brought a couple of players in, like transfer fee. I think the only ones I did buy was um, Runner and Nisbet. No, N Runner, McGregor and Nisbet, but Nisbet was from the year before. So Lombardi's a very good young defender. Um, so yeah, he's got some potential and he's already really good. Uh, we've signed Benny, who's a... Um, from Gabon, Angola, sorry. But yeah, he's really good. He's 24, just uh, a good tackler, good DM. So him and Tanaka will be good DMs to protect that back four. And um, we've signed Callum McGregor. So I think he adds some goals and assists this season. He's 33, so we could get a couple of good more years out of him, maybe two seasons out of him before we have to get someone else. And obviously we bought Nisbet on a swap with someone else. So they're all the signings. And I think uh, that'd be enough to be very competitive this season. Um, so I looked into this. Oh, it's called the Truffa Champ, but I'm just going to call it the Community Shield of France. The French Community Shield. It's pretty much that. Um, so... Spain won it. 
a very similar result to the real Euros final. And so this is the qualifiers for the Euro for the Euros. Why didn't we get qualifiers for the World Cup? Because we were literally Scotland straight after the Euros and they didn't do the World Cup qualifiers. That must be a bug. Must be a bug. Because look, we weren't even in it. See, look, we weren't even in it. It's bullshit. But it's what it is. Right. Let's get to today's match then, for today's episode. See if they've made any new signings. But yeah, I'm happy with the squad. And I think we're good to go for the rest of the season now. Let's see who they've signed them. Then later today, you're going to get... Um... Oh, I did put a question in to the community. Hold on. I'm going to see if anyone responded. Um, I'm just looking, see if anyone responded, or oh, the other. What I might do is because people do have short attention spans, I might just put each game when it's international duty. Um, one game at a time then people can get through it quicker because I, I see the longer the videos the the recorded videos um it's they get the lowest views so i think we need to try and keep the recorded videos 15 to 20 minutes to keep people's attention onto the video um so yeah i'm happy with the sign then we need to get boy boy as good as we can because there's some good strokers in this league and he's younger than the other keeper we had and they're around the same quality so by the time he's 27 with some development he's going to be better if son emre can then it's a good bench Well, we beat them last time. I think we can do them in there again. It's going to be a tough game now. Here we go. It's Tanaka. To Benny. Is Livlun to Lombardi? Gregor is Livlun. Switches it to Archie. Oh, go on, Archie. Oh, he's so good. Go on. Oh, good defending. Yeah, these are a very good team. Oh, shit. He might have got sent off. He was the last man. Oh no. Oh shit. Thank God he didn't get sent off. I thought they were going to send him off then. Run up. <laughs> that would have been his shortest debut, wouldn't it? Competitive debut. Five minute. Five minute um, debut. So the next episode be Monday. And it be the first game of the season. So from today, we're only going to do one episode per day. I'm going to get both international duties done. Then the next FM game will be... Um, oh, the next FM game will be... Um, The, you know, the Euro the Europa League, the Conference League um, final. No, not final. You know, the Europa League phase game. 
whatever game's next. Hey. So I do think that. Ah, so they've signed Cardozo for 35 million. Altogether, this window, we only spent down 28 million. So, 8.5 million on um, McGregor, 20 million on that defender run up. The rest have been free agents, and good free agents as well. We've got a good youth bench, so some potential on the bench. Good block. He's De Jong. Good save. Oh, two good saves. Yeah, that final was great. Watch that final. It was really good. But yeah, I think to get better views on my videos, I'm going to have to try and do... No, oh. I'm going to have to try and do 15 to 20 minutes to keep people's attention onto the videos. He's Archie. And he's a bit... Archie. And it, oh, Archie's still on here. McGregor! Oh, McGregor nearly put us ahead. Whips it in. Yeah, I still think that's a bug on the on the video to why Scotland weren't in the World Cup. We couldn't even we didn't even do the qualifiers. Unless you do the qualifiers before the Euros, because we did just join on a few months before the um, Euros started. But fuck knows. He's Nisbet. Go on, Nisbet. Nisbet. Ooh, straight at the keeper. Not a bad shot by Nisbet. It's going to be a tough game, but we've been very competitive. So. Good interception by Benny. Yeah, I think he's going to be a very good signing. He's Torre. He's McGregor, and he can hit it. Oh, gone for a corner. McGregor. Oh. He's Mbappe. Pain in the arse is great tackle by Tanaka. So yeah, I think we can have a good season. So the board want us to finish mid-table. So as long as we finish mid-table and they want us in the last 16 of the um, of the um, French Cup. Didn't say about the Europa League. We will check after this match if the Europa League group stage has been drew. If not, it'd be a few weeks later. He's made you can. De Jong. Good block. We're on the break now. Here we go. He's Torre. Nisbet. Arshi. He's Arshi. Puts it back to Nisbet. He's Livlun. McGregor. Ooh. Oh, damn. Decent match here, just end to end. Anyone could win this match. In the French Community Shield. No, he's a pain in the arse. That's a good finish. <laughs> That's a really good finish. And they want revenge for us beating them in that cup final. We can score goals. So. When we go behind, I ain't too concerned. Because I know we can score goals. He's Tanaka. To Lombardi. He's Loveland. 
Liverland. Oh, he's through here. Oh, tried to cut it back. Oh, tried to cut it back to then a tap in. But couldn't quite pull it off. I might have to take Rona off because he's on a yellow. De Bruyne and Mbappe are causing us a lot of issues. Oh, who's that to? Good tackle. All right, we're on the break now. Alright, let's see who we need to take off. I think Chamber's on for Ronald to prevent a um, sending off. Uh, everyone else seems okay. I think in 20 minutes or so I'll bring Ali on for Nisbet. Yeah, he was a gem. As soon as I seen his age and his shooting stats, I was like... You know, some strokes like that cost 20 to 30 million. So, yeah, I took the chance. We only had to pay his wages. And cheap wages as well, only 10,000 wages. So, I'll take that all day long. He's got the potential to be one of the best on the game. He's Nisbet. Oh, holds it up. He's Livland. Good tackle by Arnold. These are on the counter now. These are definitely going to be challenging for the title. And I think in a few years' time, we, if this team keeps growing, how young it is, especially the bench players. Because I could see that Mikado being our first choice left winger once, because Livland's only 27. So with some... He's Torre. Why ain't anyone in that box? No one there. He's Livland. McGregor! And McGregor! Has put us... He's equalised for us. And that's why we got him. Because he's a goal-scoring midfielder. He had a great Euros for Scotland. And he's just put us back in. Right. So if it's still a draw, I believe it goes to extra time than penalties. I think. He's living on. Oh, Donnarumma just got that. What a match this is. This is becoming our new rival, isn't it? Bordeaux's new rival. And I think this club has potential to stop PSG's dominance in France. He's McGregor to Archie. He's Archie. Back to Archie. Oh, beautiful football. There we go. And maybe with this team and some development, we could be right up there this season. And the Bordeaux fans are going mental. Good football from uh, Bordeaux. And McGregor scores again. <laughs> I could see him getting 15 to 20 goals this season. He's going to score a lot of goals. Oh, shit. All right, we make some more subs. All right, because he's on a yellow... I'm going to take him off for Sebastian. Oh, he's fucked. Can Tanaka play right back? He's quick. So let's play him right back. We'll take you off for Pamelino. So that's one, two, three. So we can make... Two more subs. Ali for Nisbet. We need Nisbet fit for the rest of the season. And Mikado for Livland. Uh, McGregor's fine. All right, so that's all the subs we're going to do. So all the subs today coming on is um, Sebastian, Chambers, Pamelino, Mikado and Ali. 
Right. Let's see how these do then. Only half an hour left. Oh shit. <laughs> what a final. What a cup match. God, we've had two really good games here. He's just so hard to stop Mbappe. He's going to get golden boot. Definitely. Yeah, he's getting golden boot. He's Benny to Mikado. Sebastian. Mikado. Mikado goes past his man here. He's Ali. Ali turns, shoots. Oh, he's still here. Oh, good shot there. He's Archie. Cuts in, shoots. Oh, corner to um, Bordeaux. Bordeaux, last two games have been really proven. Oh, he's deflected in. McGregor with his hat trick. And what a debut, competitive debut for McGregor. Obviously, or oh, Mikado, sorry. Mikado has just came on and scored for us to put us ahead. And Mikado's already made a difference. He's De Jong and Bappe. What a match this is. Five goal thriller here. Oh, good touch by McGregor. And he's just been phenomenal. He's Mikado. Ali. Archie. Back to Ali. Oh. Good header by Chambers. Chambers is a good experienced defender so for this season here do I think next season we will get someone better we do have someone in the youth academy who um, has potential to be great but we need some more development from him then I think we could use him as a squad player he's Ali well Ali's still got it Mikado, oh, shit, it first time, Mikado. And we're becoming their bogey team. Beaten twice in a row now. Oh. Let's not get our ropes up. But what a match this is. You should have seen the cup final, guys, if you haven't. Watch it. It's a really, really good game. Oh, wide. And already... If we win this match, within three months, we've won three trophies. The French Cup, League Two title, and this. So, Evans is proven wherever he goes, he just keeps winning trophies. He's Pemelino. McGregor. Oh, good save from Callum McGregor. He's Archie. Back to McGregor. McGregor cuts in. Shoots. Oh. Pelamino is marching in. Should keep the ball. Only a few minutes left. It's a free kick. Kato whips it in. Oh, we've been the better team. These are on the break now. One more chance. He's Kevin De Bruyne. That don't look like De Bruyne. Oh shit! He's always going to cause us issues. Great block. What a 
finish. What a finish by Archie. Great ball by Makedo. And Archie, what a goal. Just controlled it on his chest and smacked it. And what a finish that is. Good first touch. And there we go. We're, we've won the cup and beat PSG 4-2. And we're going to stay for the celebrations, the cup celebrations. And already Evans is won Bordeaux three trophies the French Cup the French Community Shield and the League 2 title that's a nice trophy isn't it the only thing I'd also like to see in future football games is if they have like medals gold medals here we go Tanaka is our captain Ooh, hey. And I think we're going to turn Bordeaux into a French juggernaut. And we're becoming PSG's bogey team. Stopped them winning the French Cup. We've took this trophy off them. We've took two trophies from them. Can we take the French League One total off on. If we keep playing like we are, we might have a chance. There we go. So let's see who we get first, and that will be Monday's episode. Just a moment of your time. It's a great day. Right, let's get through these. Oh, McGregor was just amazing. He's a good, great player. Thank That's what I got him. He's going to score 10 to 20 goals this season. I have no doubts about that. He's going to score a lot of goals. That ain't too bad, 700,000. So, yeah, I'm still getting rid of some dead wood just to, um, ah, so it's FC Laurent, Laurent, okay. Yep, he's out on loan for a season. He ain't going to get into this squad. And we've got a spare defender, so, um, we don't need him. All right, before we go... Right, let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. I'm gonna. We need to keep him because he's a backup fullback in case uh, one of the other three get injured. So Sebastian, Torre, and the other one, the Italian defender who we got. Right, so that's the first game of the season. That'll be Monday's episode. So there we go, that's 800,000. That's altogether a lot, 3 million there. And so I'll quickly show you the objectives of what they want us to do. So... They want us to have an 85 million profit. So we only spent 28 million in transfer fees. So we're only 82 million off from doing that. So if we have a good Europe Cup run, if we have a good Europe Cup one, Cup run and do well in the league, do well in all competitions, we get that. Okay. reached the group stage I thought we um, have already qualified for the group stage uh, we advance a bit I, I'm happy with the squad we've got we've just beat PSG 4-2 so I think 
we could be we could be very competitive in this league this season. Why, Roy? Pull out. I wanted to sell Diop. Oh, what's he saying? Right. So, let's see. So, we might have to do a playoff then. But I assumed... Oh, he's gone to Sounders from MLS. I do want to do MLS eventually. But I think we'll probably do that after the Premiership. Uh, yet yeah, Vip Nick can go. He ain't going to get into the team. Um, he looks promising, but... Um, yeah, he's going. Uh, no. Uh, we need him in case of injuries and suspensions to come in and do a job. Um... Right, so that'd be the next match, FC Lorient. Let's see. And there we go. We won that. Took two trophies off of them in the last few months. So we're in the Europa League. So I don't understand why it's saying... Also, oh, St. Mary and Jen, Young Boys Bromby, Galatasaray Sturm. And I think the winners, the Champions League playoffs, the losers go into the Europa League group stage, I believe. So we'll find out eventually. So that's going to be Monday's episode. Uh, hope you enjoyed today's episode and let's see what happens. But if we keep playing like we did the last two season, two games, what when we beat PSG twice, then I think we can compete for all trophies this season. But anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. And next episode be Monday. Later you're going to get... Um, FM, the international duty, and then Monday you'll get a league phase game in the conference league, Europe conference league. So no more bonus videos now. Um, we're just going to do the normal videos because it's just too much for me to do. And then I'm not being able to do anything else in the day because it's taken ages to do. You know, not just that when I'm doing bonus, sometimes I've got to play some games to get to the next match so i'm just gonna stick to uh thingy and looking forward to this before we go thursday i'm gonna do a two hour stream streaming ufl because ufl is going to be coming out thursday and i've pre-ordered it so i get it a week earlier i think it was like 12 15 pounds something like that and i'll get like i think 20 million points to get some players for the team I want, so that'd be handy. But anyway, uh, we're going to do a weekly stream uh, on UFL once a week. So that'd be a fun addition to the channel. It's not going to be a save where it's every other day. We've got six of them, four of them, six of them in three weeks' time. It's a lot of saves, and I want to cap it at six. Um, no more than six, but it'd be a weekly stream we do, and I'll play games off camera, then once a week, we do a two-hour stream, and uh, I'll show some games of us trying to get up the leagues in UFL, so that'd be a fun stream to do each week, right, thanks for watching, see you later guys, bye, bye for now.